How's it going? It's Tim. I'm a commercial photographer and video maker in the UK. I'm in the studio today and I've set up a, uh, like a virtual gallery wall. So the plan is to photograph a whole pile of these. These are custom painted wooden kidneys uh, for my friend Paul Monster's art show. You bought over a whole bunch of paintings for your art show. Yeah. So what's your art show about? Basically a show in memory of my dad raising money for QE Hospital in Birmingham. I guess uh, some, something that would help me get through the sort of grieving process and do it for my dad. I'm not a good enough, good enough artist to paint something for him, um, but I'm a good enough photographer to photograph his catalogue. Um, and I'm also a massive art geek, so this is really exciting. I mean, as a Bristol boy, we've got a Silent Hobo, we've got um, SP0 back there, and there's even a Chio. I mean, this is a really fun day. Now for this kind of project, it's super important to be efficient and repeatable. You want to be able to photograph each of the products, or each of the, in this case the kidneys, um, straight into the computer, do the same processing across every image, um, and just turn around really quickly. Um, and every image just looked like they were shot in exactly the same circumstances. So we've got a pretend gallery wall at the back here, so a timber panel um, with a white, uh, white paper clipped over the top. Um, it's not reflective, it's nice and flat, um, and super simple. Then two lights, one either side, and that casts a small shadow uh, either side of the kidney, makes it look like 3D, makes it lifts it a little bit from the background, um, and a nice equal light across the whole thing. So every image should really pop and look amazing. Um, I've got quite a lot of photos to take, so uh, time lapse. Some of the artists got super creative and uh, I can't hang up what they've made. So, a uh, quick flip round, uh, set the studio up for some top-down photography and we'll make it look like it was hung um, when it was flat on the table. That's it, job done. Paul's super happy with the pictures, all the artwork being returned to him, super fun day, going through all those new artworks and, and getting a first look at it all. It's been really cool. Um, so, uh, yeah, I've got changed and one thing to do before I finish for the day is film my first interview show um, with Trio Stories. Uh, we're going to be talking about what it's like to be a new YouTuber, growing a channel from scratch. Um, and hopefully bringing together some ideas and experiences that uh, businesses and people who want to start YouTubing um, can learn from. So that'll be posted in a few days. I uh, hope you enjoyed this follow along behind the scenes. Um, if you like video and photography making tips and tricks and behind the scenes, uh, hit subscribe. And until next time, have a lovely week. See ya.